will he come back to me? I'm going to do a connection spread to see the energy between you both, past, present and moving towards the future. Are they going to come back? That's what we want to know. If you claim the read and let me know, put a like on it. I'll see that someone's claimed it. You'll see that you've claimed it. I'll go, oh, okay, the universe is delivered. If you get into the reading and you feel, no, nope, this isn't for me, that's a big win for your intuition. But if it speaks to you and you kind of get towards the end, put a like on it. I'll know that the, the message has been received and I, I like that. Um, so, will they come back to you? What's going on with this connection? I'm going to split the deck into four, four elements, four seasons, most importantly for angels, offering us a circle of protection so we can give and receive all of these messages with an open heart and an open mind. I've been drawn towards this one. So down this side is you. Down this side is this person. Down the middle is the connecting energy. Mm, I'm going to have to do clarifying on this. I am, I am, I am. You've recently had the chariot. You've been hoping for a while that they're going to come back and you've been carrying the burden of this connection at the moment. Um, You feel like this is a big weight on your shoulders, like wondering, guessing, are they coming back, are they not coming back? It feels like, yeah, you know, it's it's a lot for you. Um, We have the six pentacles for them in the recent past which is a give and take between you both, but I've got a feeling it was quite selfish on their part with the three of cups in the middle. Um, You were trying to pull you both together and they were like taking, but they were kind of giving, but they were taking more and, and it feels selfish on their part. You were trying to, um, you were trying to form something between the both of you. I don't, like, the energy's a little bit frustrating, like, you know, if two people are going to be together, both people need to put the energy in. And it's not even that they weren't putting the energy in. It's just a bit of a, maybe everything that happened was what they wanted. And you wanted it to be in the direction that you wanted it to go in. With the chariot, you wanted that to drive it in a certain direction. But they they seem to have got... It, it seems to be like trying to think of the words it's all in my head but it's just not coming out of my mouth um it, it's like you know whatever you two done it was on on what they wanted to do so like if you watched a film together and they said to you you can choose it 10 minutes into the film they'll have a reason to change it because it's not quite what they want um if you go out to dinner they'll ask you where you want to go and then they'll give you reasons why they don't want to go there. <laughs> Do you know, it feels like that. It feels like even though they gave you options and choices, you didn't really have a choice because they got what they wanted anyway. That, that's what it feels like. And you, at the moment, with the separation between you both, you're carrying the weight of it on your shoulders because you were really trying to lead this into what you wanted it to be. And at points, at points it did feel like, at points you're like, yeah, but I did have control over a, a lot of stuff. But then when you actually think about it, you're like, hmm, did I though? Yeah, at the moment they've got the Queen of Wands. I don't know if that's a new person, that's what I want clarification on. Um, and the Four of Cups in the middle of you both, which is like quite a low energy. Um, you've got the Wands. Ten of Wands, you're taking on the full responsibility of this connection. The Queen of Wands is that again, yeah. Come to me, come to me. The Queen of Wands doesn't chase anyone, they don't go after anyone. The cat's sat by their feet, the garden grows, they they do their own thing, they live in their own little bubble, they live in their own little world. They're not selfish or anything like that. But it's almost like they're saying, You come to me. And then they if they want to communicate they'll communicate and if they don't they don't but you can you go over there what <laughs> you know that's a bit cheeky isn't it that's if it's not a new person I don't think it is like it's almost like you go there you go there give them the attention stroke their ego a bit maybe they might reply maybe they won't maybe they'll come back maybe they won't but you do all of the work you do all of the work that's annoying because why should you break your back to keep someone in your life who can't be bothered to move make any movement 
they're just sitting there quite happy quite content doing what they want to do and there's quite a low energy between you both at the moment um so the nine of wands reversed is showing me that you're going to take a little bit of a step back but not too much of a step back uh, you're going from a ten of wands to the nine of wands and the top nine of wands reversed is almost you taking one step back and looking at it and thinking okay how can i handle this in a different way what new approach can i put here um this person has been really inflexible they're not making any movement um once they've decided something they stick to it maybe they're a bit stubborn but it does feel like they're very used to getting everything their own way. I don't know if they grew up in a house where their parents waited on them hands and foot, but that kind of is what it feels like. Even they're very good at making you feel you have options, but really you don't. They're quite good at that. Do you like if you if you two went to the cinema, You'd probably go there thinking that you're going to go watch the film that you want. And then as you get into the foyer, they'd point out that there was something else that they wanted to watch. And you'd probably end up going there. But you've gone to the cinema because you wanted to go to the cinema. And you'll be like, oh, OK. And you just go along with it because it's just easier. Because if, if you go in and watch the film that you want to watch, they're probably going to give you a bit of a oh, don't want to be here. You know, that huff in that. They're not quite content and you want them to be content so then you end up going to see the film. That's kind of the energy that I'm really picking up from this person. Passive aggressive. Is that the word I've been looking for? A little bit of passive aggressive. Getting their own way in quite a passive way where then you're like thinking, oh, but it's okay. You know, if you're watching something on Netflix and they don't actually want to watch this, I really don't mind letting them watch what they want to watch. It's not a big thing. It is a big thing when every it, everything goes that way. It is a big thing when someone is passively controlling you. Um, and you're probably such a good nature that that you're just like, yeah, I just want I just want what's what they want, you know, because I'm I'm quite easy going. It doesn't feel that easy going with the ten of wands. That feels like quite a bit of a burden actually. Um, but the nine of wands to me is like you stepping back and just having a little bit more of a think about this connection at, and actually thinking, do you want them to come back? Because if you want them to come back, it will be you doing all of the work, you doing all of the apologising, you maintaining it, you going along with what they want again and, and falling back into this passive control of you. Because that's what I think it is. And if this is confusing or upsetting or it doesn't make any sense, it's probably not a reading for you. It's for someone that this does make sense to. Um, so if you claim the reading, do you let me know. Um, they've got the sun reversed. Their happiness is in the future. And the eight of swords reversed in between you both is feeling like an isolation or feeling the walls are well up. But it's almost like you step back a bit. I want to pull clarifying cards for currently and moving forward as well because i want to know what you're doing with the nine of wands reversed i don't really care about their son i really don't like yeah their happiness in the future well done well done to them um you're the person that i want to be okay you know but we'll pull cards anyway but i want to know like i want to know i want validation about the queen of wands isn't what i think it is them just sitting back and being come over here come over here and I bet they're probably the type of person that when you do have an argument with them and you do try and pin them down they're like yeah, but look at all the little things I've done for you and they make you feel really bad and all it is is they opened a door for you and you can't really argue with it because like yeah you did open a door for me but um what about all the other stuff you know you can't win an argument with them Gonna split the deck into four for elements, four seasons, most importantly, for angels, and they probably say things like, um, well if I'm such a bad person, why do you want me in your life? Oh, if you if you if you, I I had no idea you thought so badly of me when you try and change things. This kind of feels how slippery they are. Uh the ten of wands for you has the nine of cups. Um their wheel is reversed stagnation delays unexpected problems they're not going anywhere they're not making any changes 
What is interesting though is the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Cups. It's like you're throwing it all up in the air. You're like, had enough. My happiness is actually important as well. Um, to this person, it feels like their happiness is important and their happy. It's like the world, the world revolves around them. They don't want to make any choices or changes or anything. I do feel this is you like again, yeah, do you know what? I've been breaking my back over this. They do expect me to do all of the work and I don't want to do all the work at the moment. It's almost like you're going, I'm actually just as important as this person and, and looking after your emotions and taking care of that. Um, I did think it might be a bit of a long process for you to get to that point, but maybe this reading's gonna be beneficial. Uh, the world reversed in between you both. There's no, there's not going to be any changes here. Um, the King of Wands. That's interesting. The Lovers card reversed for them. Don't care. Full reversed. Lack of commitment in the middle. You don't need someone who's a Queen of Wands, whether they're male or female. It's that personality of come to me, come to me, come to me. The King of Wands is completely different. They're strong, they're stable, they will show you they love you. They're not scared of making movements, they're not scared of being an equal partnership and it could be you recognising, no, actually I want more of a king of wands who can give me stability and take part and wants to know what I want to do just as much as they want to do. Um, the lover's card reversed for them is frustrations, ill-considered choices, splitting of ways. I don't really care about them over there, really. Um, their happiness is in their future. Their happiness is all that matters to them. The fool in the middle of you both is a lack of commitment with this. Um, stop thinking, consider. You may have been thinking this person was your king of wands. The, the wands are like fire signs, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, they may not even be a fire sign, but it, it's that characteristic of the king of wands is really motivated. They're self-made in life. They come from nothing and they have a lot of motivation. When they want something, they really go after it and they go after it in the most inspirational way possible. They want everyone to do well. If they have a windfall in life and everyone around them benefits from them, if they run a business or a company, the people at the bottom of the company get paid well because they know their worth, they know that, you know, if the toilets aren't cleaned and the kitchens aren't cleaned, someone's got to do it, and it's all part of running a business, so they, they're not tight with money in that kind of way, they want everyone to benefit from what they gain from life, and it's because they come from a place of not having anything early on in life, and, and they have to prove things, if they want your attention, they will come to you, or they will go, come meet me. It's like a mutual thing. It's a, a two-way street. With the Queen of Wands in this reading, it's very much picking up. This person wants you to go to them. And it's almost like, I can see in my head, you just go, throw all this up in here. I can't be bothered. I'm going to go find my King of Wands. And I do think for a while you thought this person was that for you. Because you were trying to lead it in that direction. It just hasn't gone that way. Are they going to come back? I really hope not. Because you are worth so much better than that. And there is someone else out there for you who will show up, who will not let you walk away, who will let you watch what you want at the cinema as long as next time you go you watch what they want. It's, it's a give and take. You know, it's those silly little things. They won't want to passively control you. They want to genuinely know what you want. Yeah, let's have a think about that. Maybe put some wishes out the next full moon which is at the end of November if you're watching what's well, towards the end of November it's quite a while away a couple of weeks I think three weeks um if you're not watching it when I first upload it check when the next full moon is write a little manifestation list send it out to the universe manifest the king of wands and uh, the universe will deliver you know eventually at some point it is a timeless reading. It's from when you come into contact with it. So I think I've said all I think I need to say. I do hope the right person gets it. So if this reading is for you, let me know. Just put like on it. I'll see in the analytics that someone out there's got it. And I'll be like, yay, the universe is working well. 
whether it's now or way into the future, I don't mind. It'll be delivered when it's delivered. That's fine by me. I'm going to wrap you in a massive bubble of protection so that your angels can take you on your way. My angels can take me on to my next reading. I'd like to thank you so much for watching. If you've made it to this point, you're now part of the Purple Heart Gang. I appreciate you. They hang out in the comments. So if you see Purple Hearts, now you know. If you know, you know. I'll see you soon.